everybody, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy, and I'm here to bring you the Christmas reading for the Twin Flame Collective, Divine Masculine, and Divine Feminine. Okay, I'm sorry I wasn't able to give readings the past couple of weeks, and that was because um, mid-November, uh, my mother passed away suddenly, uh, not from COVID, um, from existing health conditions that were, although before she was uh, diagnosed positive, but she had healed from that. Um, and I think there may have been some complications, uh, but eventually she did, she died of renal failure. Her kidneys weren't working. We, when we brought her to the emergency room, um, and the ICU, the doctor said that she had 0% functioning kidneys. And we spent several days there trying to save her, getting her some blood transfusions, um, because uh, she needed emergency dialysis. Okay, but unfortunately, her body succumbed. Okay, her spirit... Uh, I have been in constant contact with my mom, um, who gives messages even before when she was in the ICU. She she she, she did want to continue on because she had several things to do still uh, in this life. But her her body was in such state of deterioration that she wasn't able to do that. So I would appreciate prayers for my mom. Um, I only a couple of clients know about it because there I had pending um, readings for them, which I have given already. Okay, now, um, well, it's going to be tough. This is the first Christmas that uh, the family is going to spend without my mom, and it's going to be hard, especially for me and my brother, and um, because. We were the ones here with her. The rest are uh, abroad in Canada, and we, we've been with her here for, um, well, it's been a decade since I came back from the U.S. Okay, uh, and uh, because of the times today also, it's going to be a very, very different Christmas, and I'm sure for those in the West Coast areas, um that you may have gotten a glimpse of this last Thanksgiving, okay? And I wasn't able to greet all of you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, anyway, uh, I hope to be back on track soon. Um, and here we are with a Christmas reading for uh, Twin Flames, the Twin Flame Collective, okay? Oh, by the way, um, I I don't know what the tradition is in your country, but for those who want to give, um, they're called sympathy gifts. Uh, you often give them, in, in in the vernacular, in my language, they're called a buloy. Well, you can just use the donate button. Um, that's a message, uh, that's a, you know, help for the bereaved family. It is a tradition here in the Philippines. So, um... Anyway, uh, Christmas is just around the corner. Like I said, it's going to be tough because it's going to be a very different Christmas, but hopefully a more meaningful one, okay? Because uh, fine, the glitter is still there, the Christmas lights are up and everything, but uh, there is a consciousness here that uh, of what is more important. It's not as commercialized as before, the gifts that we give each other are recognized, especially the intangible gifts, because, uh, well, the economy is in shambles and all of that, and we can't really just go out there and shop to our heart's desire like we did before. Okay, now let's see what Spirit's message is for Twin Flames at this time of the year. Of course, I've already prayed over the cards and shuffled them, and um, I haven't used these uh, cards in a while, and I don't know why I was told to use them. We'll find out later on, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, 
we have here the temperance card okay and uh, this talks to he talks about healing okay healing balancing from within and without the situation so kind of like keeping to the middle ground um as certain changes take place you know why because here we are um it is a time in our universe wherein um we are it's a complicated setting for for light workers who are helping the engineers of the universe um manifest and execute this uh, the ascension of the planet but right now uh the galaxy our galaxy um is about to experience energies being manifested here on earth so, so this is a very very crucial and very exciting time okay why because this is right about this time it's when uh, we are the earth the galaxy and the universe are all cooperating to manifest the non-physical in the physical so everybody all those team players okay are pitching in and cooperating uh in order to do that okay so there is a convergence of all these energies and uh a lot of people call this the christmas star and uh it is also called infinity positioning okay and uh from a 5d st standpoint uh from above from the higher dimensions it's like two halos connecting to create that infinity star the christmas star and uh but it looks like from above the infinity symbol okay from the higher dimensions uh on the earth from the vantage point of the earth it looks like the christmas star but from above from the higher dimensions it is actually the infinity symbol it's like two halos connecting and intersecting there in the middle that's why and this is what well historically um what uh led the shepherds to jesus okay if you know that tradition tradition story the traditional story christmas story okay so again that's why there's a time here of balancing of keeping the middle ground because we are going to be a recipient of this massive amount of energy that will help us manifest the non-physical into the physical look and here keeping to the middle ground because all these this uh, the the evil okay the devil here um which symbolizes whatever evils or fresh hells you are experiencing at this time in your life um and even here trouble confusion right that the world is experiencing or in the case of the collective the both the divine feminine and divine masculine are experiencing in a microcosm of this because remember this reading is for the collective so whatever um problems and confusion that you are experiencing look this is like um um this is the moon here and it's very very uh, precarious and volatile situation and brought on by an attack of these well let's call them the evil forces but this could represent anything from from being pressured to do something uh because here now it's 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 a time we're in uh the law of the hand it's like what you put out will come back and there are some who are wrongfully asserting their authority and um, their will on others even if it's not guided by the divine but what is a spirit saying look you will be in a position whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine to vanquish uh and cut through this confusion cut through the, the this um attack of the evil forces okay you'll be in a position to vanquish them 
okay, and be victorious. We have the Ace of Swords here, so this is victory. Um, you can see the laurel wreath there and the shining, um, the rays emanating from that wreath and the tip of the sword. So this is victory, so that you will be enabled to start anew, okay? And here we have a bird with falling cups and um, yeah, this represents one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so being victorious over the losses, the disappointments, this is reeling from this. You don't get into that kind of battle without some battle scars. And so th that is what is represented here by the five, the falling cups um, and the bird that is escaping them, okay, because you're victorious. But nonetheless, there will be a fallout for this victory. And uh, there, here, you know what, you know what this card reminds me of? This card reminds me of... Um, What's his name? Frodo, after the whole Lord of the Rings thing, and writing his memoirs. But actually, look, here's a, he's drawing this girl, okay? Uh, and he is connected. This is your twin. And you're both building as you go, whether you do this jointly or separately, okay, in your individual lives, 3D lives, Okay, um, there will be a, this is recognition for the work that you've done. So, with the, with the um, earlier card here, it just says hang in there, but this is what is going to happen. Uh, the underlying energies. Now, let's go to the Divine Masculine over here. For those who are just now joining us, please, I keep forgetting to say this, do subscribe and hit the the bell button so you'll be reminded whenever I do have uh, new readings. Um, you know, you don't have to be a twin flame to get something out of these readings because the twin flames, they're like um, the ambassadors of the rest of the souls that are here. Okay, so if you happen to chance upon this reading, it is by design. It's not coincidence. So might as well listen to the messages. Okay, so here, first card we have for the Divine Masculine, we have the Four of Swords. Okay, next card we have the Queen of Coins. Then we have the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Tower card. Very interesting goings on for the Divine Masculine Collective. Um, we have here the first card and the Four of Swords. You can see this woman here, um, calm, being at peace. So this is really putting all the negativity behind him. Okay, um, and he is at a place, and maybe you've noticed that some of your divine masculines have been withdrawn during this time, and that is to be expected because, um, like I said, this is a time in 3D history wherein most of the control, um, in order to control external factors like the pandemic, okay, there have been limitations put on us. And well, for the Divine Masculine, especially those who have not yet ascended um, and are in ego, uh, this is very upsetting, okay? It's like giving someone else the reins when they're so used to holding the reins. But they're putting this kind of negativity behind them, okay? And here we have the Queen of Pentacles. And you see, this is the queen, okay, that represents the divine masculine. And in this particular queen, uh, I call it the nurturer queen because um, uh, this is actually working to alongside whatever authority or ego that, that, um, that emerged during these times to actually 
make sure that everyone is provided for, that um, all things are running and well maintained, people are fed, the dependents are have their houses, roofs over their heads, clothes on their back. Um, but it's a very low profile way of uh, doing things. And uh, actually, this is this queen reminds me of um, my mom, okay, or anybody else's mom who is very nurturing, you know, and sometimes you take it for granted because you think that is the default, but that is really not the default. It is a, it is something, it is a gift that is given with heart to be able to take care of those she brought into this world. And this is what the Divine Masculine is learning right now because um, he's been given an opportunity to, like for, for other Divine Masculines, it's the first time that they're really working from home because of this pandemic. And because of that special situation, then they get a sneak peek into what the, if it is a traditional household, what the goings on in the house are, how, how things um, are done, how things, the dynamic inside the house, which he normally wouldn't have access to, because that dynamic usually when, you know, it, if it were before, wherein he would go to work, when he comes home from work, he's tired and everybody else is settled down and, you know, not wanting to disturb him because he, he needs his rest and all that. Uh, but now he's all part of this whole dynamic and this whole hubbub of, um, of action and, um, you know, being in each other's phases. But then this promotes intimacy. This promotes connection and empathy. Because now he's in a position wherein he sees what he did not before. And now, um, instead of coming in and saying, hey, here is the paycheck, and just, uh, you know, apportion it, budget it, whatever. Now, there are details, it's like broken down because he understands. And he, it's not at, out of obligation that he wants things to work but he has a better understanding of how they do and now he wants to do it so it's coming from a place of will and not really resentment okay so here in his calm while putting all the negativity behind him he he imbibes the characteristics of this queen of coins and in the same breath look because he's now in a position of understanding. Uh, he, this card, the Knight of Swords here, uh, wherein this knight is depicted slaying a dragon. So this is slaying evil, warding off injustice, uh, setting things right and wanting to set things right. Okay, so and this is all part of him trying to support and nurture whatever it is that he wants to manifest okay so this is getting all the obstacles out of the way and writing um, things that are wrong it's not just an existing injustice but it's something that keeps coming at him whether that be ego uh, whether he realized that already because in his calm mind frame wanting to leave all the negativity behind if he has generated such negativity by his own ego with his own actions then he's set to vanquish that okay and look the prospects of him doing so are very good right now because there is victory there okay so and here the next card we have for the divine masculine we have the tower card and the tower here is struck by this lightning bolt, very sudden. Okay, and that's what he's reeling from. So you see this card here, uh, wanting to put all the negativity behind them. And this is his tower of ego, right? 
And now he's actively, um, whether it's ego, authoritarianism, whether it's um, being selfish or egocentric, um, here he is actively vanquishing that. And that's a good thing coming from the divine masculines, because uh, now, look, uh, in doing so, he can access his divine feminine um, aspect within himself and uh, be here in this position. Okay, so that's what we have for the divine masculine. So this respite, this uh, taking a step back has actually done him good. And the card here in the middle, we have the death card. And it says here, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay, so whether this be an outer, and I can say that uh, my dad is not a twin flame, but he is um, an earthly challenge. Okay, so when we lost my mom, we had to contend with with him and as much compassion that we want to give him um, if it were not for the higher dimensions the ability to navigate between worlds okay between dimensions it would be very 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 difficult it is difficult in itself even knowing how to do that but if this is what's in store for him and that, um, look, the death of my mom, let's say, will be a new beginning for him. And he wants to put all this negativity behind him. The negativity coming from himself, his ego, then that is a good thing. So again, that is the case of um, a another soul that I know of. So, but in general... Uh, the Divine Masculines, Four Twin Flames, I'm going back to Twin Flames, a very crucial happening, okay, circumstance happening to them, wherein they are wanting now to upgrade themselves, to vibe higher, okay, and for him, very difficult, it's like a death, it's, he's trying to get the better aspect of himself out, um, and it's difficult for him, but, uh, that, oh, oops, sorry, that's okay. He's going to survive that. Okay, so now on to the Divine Feminines. Okay, first card we have for the Divine Feminines, we have the Five of Coins. And then we have the, the Solitary Man, the Hermit. Then we have the Lady of Swords. And then we have the Emperor card. Okay, so we start here. Well, the Divine Feminines aren't in that great of a shape right now. Uh, if you find yourself in times of need, especially when it comes to um, money, okay? So this would represent, the Five of Coins here would represent... Um, Things that you need to sustain yourself here in, in 3D, okay? Whether it's food, whether it's money, whether it's the job that gives the money, whether it's, um, uh, I don't know, anything related to 3D. It's like the Divine Feminines are in a, um, in a position, we're in, are in a handicapped position right now. Okay, uh, wanting more, no, not wanting, it's actually needing, because this pertains to the basic necessities, trying to get into a better place, and, you know, uh, looking to the universe for help. And because, now, it doesn't mean that you are actually begging, okay, because here, it just says that, you know, you're in a position of need. But here, we have here the Hermit card. So this is wandering, and this is almost uh, keeping to yourself because of this situation. Not really being able to socialize or, or do 
get on with their usual lifestyle uh, because of this. So what happens is now this this solitary state. Uh, some of you may feel that you are alone, especially during, during this season. Um, and then, uh, so you're left to your lonesome, whether it is a lonely solitude, because there is a solitude that is very, very uh, productive. Okay, you may be alone, but not feel lonely. But regardless, the physical, uh, this is uh, being socially distant, okay? Being socially distant. But looking for some hope, looking for some guidance, uh, looking for some direction there, okay? And the card below that is the Lady of Swords. Now, this Lady of Swords derives pleasure in expression. She's expressing herself now through music. So whether this solitude is spent productively by delving into the arts, okay, uh, expression, maybe you're writing in your journal, maybe you're sharing, I don't know, pics on Instagram, which means something to you and sparks a discussion. Uh, this is expressing yourself in various means okay um that expressing your thoughts why because some divine feminines feel that you know they cannot directly beg right but this uh situation uh evokes some pressure on oneself and that pressure needs to be released and for some, it is expressing yourself. Uh, doesn't necessarily um, need to be music. There are other media available, uh, whether you use social media, whether it is um, really music through composition, writing, through art, through drawing and all that. Uh, it is expressing yourself. And now, why? Because um, once this pressure is released, then the Divine Feminines can go about being the Emperor and actually fixing this situation. So it's like taking a step back to take two steps forward, right? Here, asking for direction. Here, being in this state. But this state evokes some pressure okay uh, whether it's exhaustion tiredness and here you have to relieve that pressure express yourself and it looks like from the vantage point of other people who you know who are just looking glancing at the surface it looks like hey you're in a position of need and yet what are you doing you're not doing anything but you are because you are helping yourself by expressing yourself and getting back to that Temperance, right? Because this devil here and this confusion, see, that reflects on these cards. So and you have to get back to balance so you can vanquish whatever situation that is. Okay? So there. So so Divine Feminine, so she can uh, actually fix things, even though she doesn't look like she's fixing things from the outside, but she is. Why? Because she knows how to take care of herself. And the card here, for the Divine Feminine, okay, very good. We have patience. See, I accept that everything happens in Divine Order. So there, again, temperance, patience, because all these will be vanquished. And both twins will be victorious. In in the case of the Divine Feminine, it is circumstances here. Here, in case of the Divine Masculine, mostly this his battle is internal because he has to release, let go of his attachment. Attachment, okay? Attachment, his bond to ego, to pride and whatever else and he's reinventing himself 
Okay, I'm going to pick a card for both twins to connect them. Okay, here we go. Here we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, the Seven of Swords, and then we have a fox here holding on to a coin, and then there is the dove there. When we get the Seven of Swords here, this speaks about um, thoughts in various um, degrees of importance. And this card is telling us that although focusing on some thoughts that are here on 3D uh, is what, um, how do you say this, is what you most likely will do because that's in your immediate surroundings that is at the forefront. Okay, uh, to think about this, this card is telling us to look higher, to go for those thoughts that are that will actually uplift you and cause you to vibrate higher. Okay, in the case of um, the the higher thoughts here is represented by the bird there. Um, here for the divine masculine here. These would be these swords putting all the negativity behind him, okay? Because these thoughts, these other, well, these two, these would represent uh, the lower swords, okay? The one the fox is getting, okay, that's in the middle, right? For the divine feminine, here, these swords represent the higher swords, the, like the one with the bird, okay? Because... Focusing on that, oops, yeah, I have to press the camera so that I can actually see the video in the camera. And so, because sometimes the screen, and sometimes I accidentally turn it off, Turn uh, I turn it off, so that sucks. Anyway, so here, the Lady of Swords is actually focused on here, the three higher swords, the more altruistic swords, in expressing herself. That's why it's being advised for the Divine Feminines to, yes, go ahead and do this, express yourself, the higher aspects of yourself, so you're able to rise above the situation. These coins represent the coin of the fox there. Uh, that's when you're thinking so much about the, the what's happening on the lower timelines. But here, just go higher and everything will resolve in due time. That's why there is patience here. Okay, so that's what I have for the Christmas reading. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. I know it's a couple of days. I don't want to count how many days before Christmas because that is added pressure. I've been telling you for so many years now that here in the Philippines, we have the longest Christmas starting September. It's Christmas season. And uh, although people are adjusting because times are different now. No Christmas parties in offices. It's it's banned because mass gatherings still, still are banned. And <clears throat> uh, even traditional uh, dawn masses, um, you know, they're 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 different. They're staggered now. It's not just one mass for everyone. So it's a very going to be a very different Christmas. But uh, in case um, you still want to gift other people, I will make all. Uh, everything, all the products, the services that I'm offering available via gift certificate, okay? So, um, this is a gift certificate that I will, so you have to tell me who, who it's going to be for, because when they redeem it, um, you're going to be emailing them that, that graphic that I'm going to send you of the gift certificate, which is a very socially distant appropriate gift if because there are people who are um far away that you can't actually spend christmas with but you are thinking of during the holidays so yeah just purchase whether it's a gift of healing or a gift of guidance or wisdom anything that i'm offering on the website will be available via gift certificate just let me know 
whom it's for because, you know, I have to track it down. There is going to be a six-month redemption period for that. So no hurry for those you'd like to give the gift to. They can use it whenever they feel like they need it. Okay? So just, you know, purchase as usual. Um, and in the messages or when I do confirm your purchase, or you can just put it in the messages, just a uh, gift certificate for this and that person. And... Uh, I will deliver the gift certificate to you so you can send it to whomever. I don't need to know the... I'll just register their name so that when they redeem it... And um, I know that the certificate has... Uh, gift certificate is is assigned to... You're the purchasee, right? You purchased... your purchaser, rather, of the gift certificate. Okay, so again, Merry Christmas. I hope I will have time to connect with you just right before Friday, which is Christmas. And um, I hope the true meaning of Christmas is with you all, okay? And remember, this is a time where we are manifesting the non-physical into the physical with the support of of the galaxy, the universe. So there's that. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Take care, everyone. Bye.